TLS is a protocol which uses cryptography principles to secure the communications between a client and a server over the Internet. The first goal of TLS is to provide a mechanism for private connection between two, two parties, meaning that no third party can listen to the communication. The second goal is to be able to authenticate one or both parties. In general, this mostly means making sure that the identity of the server is verified. Finally, TLS also implements a mechanism for checking the integrity of the data and that there was no data loss or modification during the transfer. Securing communications between two parties doesn't seem that difficult. We have plenty of cryptographic methods that we can use to encrypt the data. But the main difficulty is to make sure that both parties can agree on a cryptographic key which no one else can know about. The TLS handshake at the beginning of every HTTPS communications is therefore the most important part of the procedure. How does it work? There are three actors involved in the TLS handshake. The client, which in general will be a web browser like Chrome or Firefox, the server, which hosts the target website, and the certificate authority, which is a trusted third party responsible for verifying the validity of certificates. On the server, there is a certificate installed containing a public-private key pair and a certificate authority chain which contains information about the certificate authority which can identify the server. When someone on the browser tries to access a secured website, the client will send a first message asking the server to establish the con connection. The server will reply by acknowledging the client and by sending the public key as well as the CA chain. The private key must always remain on the server and can never be transmitted. The client can then use the CA chain to ask the certificate authority to validate the certificate. This validation will basically consist in the certificate authority certifying that this public key belongs to the server. So if it has the corresponding private key, its identity is guaranteed. If the validation is correct, the client will generate a random session key which will be used for a short period of time to encrypt the rest of the communications. The client now needs to send this key to the server. To do that, it will encrypt the session key with the public key of the server and send it. The server will then use its private key to decrypt the session key. Now that both client and server have the session key, which has only been transmitted encrypted, a secure communication channel can be established where all further communications are encrypted with the session key. For more information about the key exchange mechanism and public key cryptography, I encourage you to check the linked videos from the Computer File channel of the University of Nottingham, which go into a lot more details and are a lot less likely to contain mistakes than my videos. In the next videos, we will see how to create the certificates and how to configure our Tomcat web server so that it uses TLS to secure its communications.